Oh, Salam. Didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. Why is it that after multiple loads of laundry, you realize you're missing some socks and are unable to find them anywhere in the house? What happens to them? That's a very good question. The answer, in all honesty, is your couch eats them, because he is in cahoots with the laundry machine. You see, the laundry machine hates to do dirty socks. They've been on your feet for crying out loud. And so, the couch keeps socks in between its cushions, and in return, the laundry machine hides the remote. Because the couch hates to have the remote lost down the cracks of the cushions. It's like getting a popcorn kernel out of your teeth, it's just so annoying. This is why couches and laundry machines are never seen together. So that nobody will have suspicion. Think about it, have you ever seen the laundry machine or the couch together? I think not. Unless they are lovers. In which case, they can't stay away from each other. Because love between a laundry machine and a couch is simply unbreakable. I know a couch and a laundry machine that just live a few blocks down the road. They've been married for 30 years and have given birth to five wonderful flannel shirts. We all know how really bad records make really good frisbees, but would a circular saw do the same job? Yes, but only once. Why do they call it a drive through if you have to stop? Because you couldn't very well call them stop through. Oh my god, what a brilliant idea. Stop through restaurants. Stop before you go. I'll be rich. The only problem is, you gave me the idea, and therefore you will have to die. Please email me your address so that I may come over and kill you properly. I expect your response very soon. And if for some reason you do not give me your address, I will find you. You never seem to hear your viewers come in. Have you seen a doctor lately? Perhaps you are in need of a hearing aid. A Trekkie dressed as a Klingon and a Star Wars fan dressed as a Stormtrooper meet by chance in an alley. Naturally, a duel to the death is the only possible result. Who wins? I highly doubt anybody wins in that situation. I would dare say everybody loses. Loses some dignity, loses some brain cells, loses what little they have left of their masculinity. Just all around loses. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it.